Hey YouTube, Angel of PC here, and um, I'm back. Um, this is my first video for the day. It's Sunday. Um, I forgot to mention on Saturday I'm a Sabbath, so you won't be expecting any videos on Saturday, guys. So um, I had time to make a video today. Um, I wasn't feeling well throughout the week. So um, here it is. Um, today in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to run any game on your computer. When I say any game, I mean any game. You can have um, a five megabyte ROM press ROM processor like my computer. It's really slow. I'm going to get a new graphics card. Um, I'll put this in the description below. This shows you um, what your computer. This shows you your computer's graphics card. As you can see, my graphics card is memory size is a megabyte. Um, that's really small. So, um, you guys can read up on this. Um, and now what I'm gonna do is show you guys how to make your computer run any single game. Doesn't matter if your computer is Windows ME. Once it's installed and saying it's not working, I can make make it work. So um, let me show you. Um, Battlefield Bad Company 2. When I try to start it up, this is what's gonna happen. But it's not. It's just not gonna start up. <coughs> it's going to say all this about installing. Blah blah blah. Um, but note that when the game works, it will move extremely slow. It will move um, really slow. So um, I'll get back to you guys in a moment. This is, when this is finished. Okay, so Battlefield is taking way too long, so I'll just um, cancel that. I won't do that. I'll show you um, with Call of Duty. I'll use my Call of Duty and show you guys. As you can see, it doesn't run. It says video card or whatever does not support blah 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 data. Now, Let's open up Swift Shader. Swift Shader is the name of the program that makes anything, any game run on your computer. I'll put that in the link below. Um, once you've opened up Swift, Swift Shader, find, um, right click on the game, the game shortcut, and click open file location. And on the next side, you're going to want to open up Swift Shader. Um, whether if you have a 32-bit computer, double-click on it, open up the 32-bit. If you have a 64, open up the 64. Um, here is how to find out what bit your computer is. Um, system security and go in system. And all you have to do right here, it says 64-bit operating system. Um, also, if some of you guys don't know this, but whenever you see like 86 bit that is like that's another name for 32 bit so if you see 86 bit it's actually 32 bit if you see 32 bit it's 32 bit so um, mine says 64 but my computer is really a 32 bit I reprogrammed it to a 64 by accident so um, let's open up the 32 bit and um, all you're gonna do is drag and drop now what I'm gonna do guys is I'm gonna switch to my rear camera so that you guys can see what's happening and as you guys saw like five seconds ago it wasn't um as you guys saw like five seconds ago Hold on, guys. It wasn't working. It wasn't working like five seconds ago. So I'm gonna switch to 
on my next camera okay guys so here we are at the rear cam using the rear camera so um all we're gonna do now is double click on call of duty modern warfare it's multiplayer i know um the single player hasn't been working so um yes i want to run in safe safe mode ah uh, oh yeah i disabled punk buster so it won't it's still working for me but I disable punk buster as you can see right here the swift shader will be there like forever it won't move so um you're gonna have to get used to playing with swift shader right there and if you guys are installing punk bus installing this game please enable punk buster that's the only way you can get to play multiplayer um and multiplayer is one of the best type to play um yeah mine doesn't work because punk buster so um that's basically it guys oh oh yeah i wanted to say something to you guys i wanted to ask you guys um i wanted to ask you guys a question if you <coughs> if you think i should start doing walkthroughs like um pokemon walkthrough the first walkthrough i do would be um Pokemon Emerald walkthrough and after I'm finished with Pokemon Emerald I would um, Go on to any other game that you guys recommend you guys would tell me the first Pokemon that you want to see me use and the last Pokemon and um, y You guys know what I'm talking about if you think I should do the walkthrough Comment below and say yes if you think I shouldn't say no. It's all up to you guys. Peace Ba 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 ba